So NVIDIA released a new application named the NVIDIA app not even too long ago. And I want to introduce you guys to it as well show the best FPS settings to increase your frames on Fortnite house. Okay guys, so basically this is what my FPS and my ping look like without using the NVIDIA app. And at the end of this video, I'll come back to this specific map and I'll show you if my FPS and my ping have like increased or decreased. So basically, I'm on about 27 ping and up to 200 and around 280 FPS around there. So when I apply the uh, NVIDIA app settings, I'll come back and I'll see if my FPS has increased. Okay guys, so now let me show you how to actually download the NVIDIA app. So before we start, one thing you guys need to make sure of is that you do have a GeForce GTX GPU or any GeForce GPU to be 100% correct. Alright, so basically, if you guys don't know how to check your GPU, well, you could, I have a weird way of showing you, but just type in GPU right here. And uh, go over here on, for example, camera, just click on options and see if it says NVIDIA. G4 GTX or whatever the, the hell you can have, you can have an RTX. Okay, so all of that topic. So now let me show you how to actually download the NVIDIA app. So go ahead and literally just type in NVIDIA app. That's literally it. Just go over here, click. This is, should be the first website and uh, click on download better. And it's gonna be around, it's gonna take you around like what, a couple of seconds, like a couple of minutes, like two minutes max, depending on how fast your internet connection really is. Okay guys, so now once you have downloaded it, just literally click on it and uh, just follow the steps. And once you guys have opened the application, it should look something like this. Go over here and just click on agree and install. And as you guys can see, it is installing and uh, it's actually updating for me because I used to have it. So I wait for it to update well, it just updated so I don't have to wait for it. And basically, one thing you guys can see is that it's just so similar to GeForce Experience, but there's so many different things. For example, you don't even have to log in to actually change your uh, settings and stuff like that. And let me show something pretty cool in my opinion. So when downloading your drivers, you guys can see what's fixed and uh, what's new. So that's a pretty good, in my opinion, that's, that's pretty cool. So this is not what we're here for. We're here to actually boost our FPS. So the first thing you guys need to do and you go over here on graphics the first thing you need to do is obviously download your drivers download the newest drivers guys so once you guys get done go here on uh, fortnite okay and just click on go global settings right here we're going to start off with the global settings rtx dynamic vibrance me personally i use on because holy shit this makes your game so vibrant and i'm really in love with it i like it so much and you guys can also test this out but this doesn't really affect your fps so you, should, you shouldn't be concerned about that so, so my gpu is nvidia g4 gti 1615 as you guys can see it was right here yeah dsr factors i don't really do it i don't really touch, touch this low latency mode i prefer having on your sh yours should be on off but i prefer having mine on on my frame rate i don't use this because uh, i just think it's pointless power management modes i do prefer maximum performance share case size i do drive or default and the settings right here i don't even touch them so I'll go over here on program settings and as you guys can see these are my settings right here now let me show you how to actually optimize your game so if you see a little like green square that says optimize right here just click on optimize okay so go over here on uh like if you guys see this little green square right here just click on optimize and your game should be fully optimized right now for the best settings and you could actually drag this little uh bar right here you could drive it to like performance and but i don't really use this shit i don't optimize it i think my fps is pretty good but for the sake of this video i'm just gonna do what i'm supposed to do and that is click on optimize system that's pretty much nothing we need to be concerned about apart from nah, not really to be honest so click on over here on settings and there's a few more settings that i want to talk about you guys uh so basically the first settings oh they're basically like these settings right here and video overlay if you guys don't use it just disable it game filters and photo modes if you guys don't use it also disable that because it is running in your background which is not good and once you guys have done that that's literally it and i just launched for okay guys so off the bat i dropped around seven pink and i'm currently around 19 16 oh damn i'm going even like 19 and my fps is low-key exact like a little bit more boosted like i see it's like not dropping to like 290 it's like stuck in 300 and st stuff like that so i think this one actually worked and i'll advise you guys go ahead and give it a shot 
I literally didn't change no other setting. I, what you guys saw, that was the only thing I did. I didn't do any additional settings like that. And I see a pretty good performance in my opinion on my FPS. So it's definitely worth a shot. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And as you guys can see, the end results were pretty, pretty, in my opinion, shocking. So yeah, I did see a significant drop in my uh, ping and a little bit boost in my FPS, but it's not that much to be honest. So it's been a boy chapel. And as always, peace out and I'll see you guys next time.